Hi guys, before we move to the agenda of this video, I'm going to show you and point out to the two videos that will be useful for understanding this video. This video, MAMGPT with local LLMs, this we talked about integrating local LLMs in run pods with MAMGPT and that I ran on my Mac device. The other video, which is Autogen with local LLMs, again using run pods, we ran this on my Windows system using Google Collabs. Now what next? In this video, we are going to use power up a local LLM run pod using run pod and we are going to simultaneously and individually power up MemGPT and Autogen. So let's get started if that is clear. Let me head over to the run pods and we are going to start up a pod here so let's go to template well you know first you need to set up an account add some credits and then you need to go to template here we are going to use run pod the block llms deploy and then we are going to use a gpu uh, rtx a6000 deploy this is the same as we used in the video Customize deployment. So we already have 7860 in which we will be starting up our, our text generation web UI and 5000 port will power the mem GPT and we would have another port which will power the autogen. Okay, 5001. We set overrides and we continue and deploy this. So click on my pods and let the pod get started okay we say connect and we can connect to this port 7860 this will start up the ooga booga text generation web ui and then you're going to head over to models we are going to use dolphin 2.0 mistral 7b copy this and paste it here and click on download this will download the model well this is done took a bit longer than i expected and we go to refresh here then we go to none and go to dolphin 2.0 and we load this up once we click load we will see a loading sequence here the settings have been uploaded and it is loading the model and uh, it should be done in a few seconds okay so we successfully loaded this and now we need to go to the session and we need to click on open ai here and apply the flex so this is for the autogen configuration if you remembered from the previous video this will create the port of 5001 which will be used in the autogen configuration now we can head over to model and this is complete so we copy this link here and let's head over to the autogen configuration first um, so we have here in the collab research notebook so here we have already seen we need to install this so let me run this pip install by autogen and then we are going to install or import the libraries autogen here we are going to put in the copied link from the text generation web ui to this location so let me change this and put it here we have to put a v1 here and in place of 7860 we need to put 5001 and we run this llm config we load this config list then we create an assistant who is going to play the role of an assistant agent we create a user proxy that is going to replace us it's a it's like a human user and then we are going to initiate the chat uh, starting and asking the assistant to take in this message write a function to print numbers 1 to 10 so you can see uh, the output the assistant gives the output and it even runs the code uh, to see the output so this is done from the autogen side now we need the same run pods instance we should be able to use this in mem gpt as well so we copy this again and let me this time head over to my 
whatsapp and inside the whatsapp i am going to paste in this link so that i can open on my mac device so let me go over to my mac and then let's try it out there okay we are in my mac device and here i would first open the whatsapp of mine uh, where's my whatsapp so this is the link so you can just click on the link and this will open up the run pod web ui instance that was running that we have started in on my windows machine so we start up a terminal now let's start up a terminal and say homebrew here we change the folder because if we have to remember please watch the earlier videos then it would be easier for, for you to understand change directory uh, we have add documents and YouTube and inside the YouTube we had another folder which is mem gpt we have already git cloned that so we are inside mem gpt now let us start up the conda environment so conda activate pretty so the pretty is activated now now what you can do is we can just run it from here we can start using a mem gpt but first we need to set up the open ai api base open AI, open ai api because the base has changed which means the base is this so we select this and paste this so paste and we are going to change this to 5000 so this is done another setting we need to do is under setting would be export uh, back and type equal to web ui so this is done now we can start this machine up so we have python i'm sorry we have python 3 uh, main.py and dash dash no verify okay so would you like to start up the old, older conversation no gpt4 sam and i want to take the basic uh, i say no hit enter and i should get the welcome message of hey chad then we would come to know that this is working welcome chad so hi welcome back right so this is working on my mac device so it's working on the mac device and if we head over to my google collapse which was in uh, on my windows device here if we again uh, run this write a message or print numbers so it is still working here so as you can see this run pod instance can serve multiple instances and it can serve the autogen on one hand and mem gpt on the other now what if we could integrate both of these both the autogen and the mem gpt now in the autogen we have assistant agent and user proxy agent now what if i could replace the assistant agent with memgpt that would be interesting now the researchers and the people behind memgpt are working on that to find a solution if i get a workable solution i would come up with the video very soon but uh, tell me how did you like it tell me uh, if you were able to follow through this exercises you need to watch the other two videos that i mentioned in the start at the start of my video then you'll be able to link uh, these two uh, things to watch this video and then you'll be able to get a complete picture of what's going on so having said that i thank you so much for tuning in uh, to my channel subscribe to my channel it's a new channel dedicated to get the best out of ai share this video like this video and do whatever is necessary to grow this video and again i would like to thank you so much for tuning in i will be back with more interesting videos in just a short moment of time but please continue watching the other videos on my channel this is your host uh, have a nice day and uh, stay healthy bye bye